Yeah. <laughs> Sir! Let me move my expensive ass driftwood out the way. Thank you, Dad. Expensive driftwood that releases too many tannins in the water and it creates black water. I don't want a black water tank. I want to see my fish. So now it's just decorative. <laughs> I'm telling you, this stuff is hella expensive. I mean, hella expensive. It's all good. It looks kind of art, artsy fartsy. Pardon the ugly view here. We are giving Rick, next door neighbor Rick, this grass right here. Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass. You got the hat trick and fireball. You got the moonlight and you got the right. Now, very important, zero weed seed. You want to make sure zero weed weed seed. You're doing all that work and you're gonna have weed seeds. You're just gonna have poa. You're gonna have uh, poa triv. You're gonna have just weeds. No, hell no. Zero weed seeds. Blackout. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. There is Kentucky bluegrass in here, so we have to pre-germinate. That's what we're gonna do today. Pre-germinate the seed. Very simple process. It's gonna take me like five minutes. His lawn is, it's not even a thousand. We'll go heavy rate. I'm gonna do like six pounds because it's new new seating six pounds should be good just because i want coverage i originally was going to put the tall fescue in there as well <sighs> man should we just put the tall fescue so we have all three okay my dudes this is three pounds when you fill it up it's three pounds get yourself a bucket and a paint strainer put it around here put it around right here and then you're gonna pour your seed in the paint strainer Let me grab another bucket, because this one has holes on the bottom for draining purposes. That's if you're not covering it, but at the same time, it just makes it easier for me. Now, Scott gave us this, which is gonna make pre-germination way easier. I'm just gonna leave it here. <laughs> and empty it that way. Oh my God, it's gonna be so easy. So this one goes here on top of uh, this one. Just like so. Oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Scott gave us this for superfood. But, I mean, look, you can just drain it now. This, this is like the advanced level of pre-germination. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pre-germinate some for us as well, so we can plant some here. You know, the, just the collar area, the potatoes, if you will. This is gonna be the one of the most challenging seedings that I've done over the years. Kentucky Blue does not grow fast, I'll tell you that much. It is the slowest growing seed ever. Yes, sir! Alrighty, oh, this is so freaking exciting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fill her up, my dude. Check this out. So, when we drain it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's rinse that seed off that's in there and then dump it back in, bro. <laughs> that is sick. Remember track and field and back in the day when you guys are drinking from the Gatorade things? That's what it, that's what this feels like. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tie this up and then we're gonna grab our rubber mallet to weigh it down because you want it submerged. Now we have to change the water every 24 hours because the water, I guess it's toxic. It's toxic water. I've always just drained the water. I never put it back in. I did put it in the backpack. I didn't notice it killing the grass, but this is toxic water. Change it every 24 hours. Get our rubber band going here. I'm the rubber band man. That is a lot of seed, bro. That is six pounds. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, it's about to go down in a couple days. Come on, bro, you had long hair. What are you doing? Okay, let me grab the rubber mallet, be right back. All right, my dudes. Rubber mallet, hold it down, because you want it to be submerged the entire time. Look, we put a little too much water in and that's okay. Oh, we need something heavier, bro. Oh, we need something heavier, bro. Ugh, the 35 pound weight is too heavy. We're gonna do this. Since it's so heavy, I'm gonna fill this one up <clears throat> right here. That way it can sit on top of it. You know what I mean? There we are, holding it down. Little waterfall, pimping. <laughs> Lovely, pre-germination. Pre-germination of the blockout.
under three quarters of an inch. That's insane. Under three quarters and still that dark is ridiculous. You can see a little bit of browning from the low cut as well as the PGR. And in a couple days, it's gonna be insane, bro. Insane, bro. This angle's not good because the sun's over there. The sun's right there. That's why the stripes this way are epic. You know what I mean? Because the sun's just blaring on it. Hell yeah. Holy guacamole, my dudes. I love, I mean, look at how fast the shade comes. I mean, we were cutting for like 30 minutes. Oh, under three quarters on the main. I'm telling you, I'm getting to half inch. I mean, look at the, you can see the, how level it is. Look at that. Look at this. How level is that? That's too much, bro. That's too much, bro. It's almost time for a, a verticut. Verticut and verticut here as well. That is a lawn. Sheesh. Again, lost a little bit of color because we went under three quarters and that's fine. Because the goal is half inch all year round. No worm castings, very delicious looking. Come on, bro. The turf is just getting bushy, filling in super nice. I think I wanna spray it with some of that C3 just to be safe. And that way we're not risking more worm castings. Filthy, filthy, filthy. Sometimes you just have to sit back and look at all the work you've done. Really, bro. Under three quarters and it's that dark. You don't see that often. You don't see that, that's not, that's not normal. That's not normal, bro. One more dose of C3 and C3 is like a hydrotane almost. I, well, it's advertised that way. It says C3 helps with drought and all that good stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'm still buying hydrotane. So you guys make sure you buy your hydrotane now before price goes up and or stock goes out. I'm so happy right now. I mean, you can, it's so low. You can see where all the imperfections of the level is. God, you can't see that on camera. I wish you could see that on camera. Oh yeah, you can, uh, no, you can't really see it. Low that is compared to the side. Just stupid. Come on, bro. Under three quarters of an inch. Beginning of spring. Take it easy, please. Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> Telling you, when you get to that point of just annihilation, it's hard not to look at it. I mean, as is, people are driving by just, I don't, I don't know who they are, and they're just pointing. They're like, they're probably saying, that mother is him. <laughs> that mother is him. I mean, we are him. I mean, look at how sick this is. Oh my goodness gracious. That perennial rhyme, man. And you just see how freaking low she is. Oh, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me. I think the lawn might be getting used to the Simple Lawn Solutions iron, so we're gonna use a different iron as well, just to switch it up. I honestly don't know if that's a thing, if I'm just making that up, but just to switch up the brand, we'll use the rest of Big Dog stuff. That's the Big Dog. Lawn Supply, that's the Big Dog. Don't get it twisted. He started us all off. <laughs> Just a dabble, do ya? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that foamy goodness. We'll spray a little bit of water in there and get the rest out as well. I didn't buy one yet, sorry. But we just ironed! Yep, totally just ironed.
Oh my gosh. Check this out. Just like watered down ketchup. <laughs> I watered down some Franksford hot sauce the other night for my hoagie. <laughs> I kid you not. I kid you not. True Green just passed by staring at the lawn. <laughs> That's low key a lot of iron. Five ounces of our C3. Oh, God. That's a little bit more than I wanted, but that's okay. I don't discriminate on extra product, <laughs> especially when it smells that good. We'll go two gallons. We don't want to be out there forever. It's like two and a half. It's a little thick. We'll call that the chai tea. <laughs> Dad? Best 20 bucks I've ever spent. Let's transfer you guys over to the tripod. Little man Frodo action. Look at how dark it is right there. Look, look, look at the camera. Dead. Yeah. That's black.
I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna keep on watering. I'm gonna just make sure every zone works. Check out dad, he's gonna. <laughs> Talking to the neighbors. He's like, these mother dogs. Look at this baller. Look at, look at this baller. <laughs> How is it it's growing? It's growing. Good, yep, good. Yep. I'll be there. Is it okay if I fertilize tomorrow? Yes. I'm gonna spray some stuff just to make sure. Yep. Your video blew up a little bit. Blew up a little bit. 46,000. It should have blew up more than that. <laughs> well, we're gonna be there in what? Two more weeks? Two more weeks. I'll yep. watch you mow and then we'll fertilize more. Yep, yep. And I'll add more seed. Sounds good to me. Cool. All right, Jonathan. Hey, it's good to see you. See you, brother. Jonathan got the nice freaking Tesla. Oh my God. We got some ballers up in here, bro. It's, it's, it's crazy, like nowadays, back in the day, these neighborhoods, you were just literally middle to like, if not struggling class. Now you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be making money, bro. These houses are like, I think some are selling for 760, 800. You, you better be making 200, 200 plus to live here. Minimum 200. <laughs> That's insane, bro. Okay, so yeah, tomorrow let's go spray Jonathan's lawn with some furt. You know, simple lawn solutions, little nitrogen, little seek help for protection, all that good stuff. Unfortunately, I drove by the other day and I saw that tall fescue that he planted is just thriving. I mean, it is a thriving tall fescue and it's it's insane. So I'm gonna advise him in the fall to kill everything off and start over and then we'll plant blackout straight perennial rye because I know his style. He likes that clean, one grass type for him will be really good. He likes that look, clean. So we'll hook him up. This is Jonathan's other whip that we were talking about the other day. The sevener, come on bro. See, he likes it clean, he keeps it clean. Them are tens, but he keeps them clean though. <laughs> They're my tans. I keep them clean though. <laughs> Anyways, you guys are the best. Like I said, I'm gonna adjust all these things and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll go to the Jonathan's house. We'll check on our pre-germinated seed. A lot of things happening, guys. You're the best. Thank you so much for watching everything. Incredible. I, I, from the bottom of my heart, seriously, thank you so much. Seriously, thank you. You guys are the best. You're awesome. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow.